Good morning, friends and enemies. This will be the first in roughly 800 Emily Dickinson poems that I will attempt to memorize during the quarantine. This one begins, Abraham to kill him, was uh, is about Abraham being told by God to take your kid up the mountain and kill him. And so here's, this is Emily's version, very compact. Abraham to kill him was distinctly told. Isaac was an urchin. Abraham was old. Not a hesitation. Abraham complied. Flattered by obeisance, tyranny demurred. Isaac, to his children, lived to tell the tale. Moral, with a mastiff, manners may prevail. So that's Emily's version. The, um, the conventional take on this, I think, from uh, Bible readers, is that Abraham felt compelled to do whatever God told him to do, because otherwise he's not God. If he's going to commit to believing that God is all the things he is said to be, and there not much would have been said by then, then he has to respond in a positive, well, yes, I'll do it, whatever, just tell me. Emily, I think, has a different take, and that is, with a wink, I believe, or a dry wit, it's that God is something of a bully, and he can ask anyone to do anything, but if they're nice enough, if they sort of, if they kiss up, you might say, I might let him off the hook. But the thing that I find most interesting in the poem is um, Isaac. You think of this kid, what he, he's gone through. He must have had to have a lot of therapy. He winds up uh, telling his own kids, what happened? What, what your granddaddy did? And I always imagine the kids listening to this and just being like, holy crap. I don't know if they said that back then. I don't, holy crap. Dad, just do us a giant favor and don't ever let Granddaddy babysit us. And, and for God's sake, don't don't let him uh, take us on hikes uh, up up the, on the mountain. So uh, that's today's poem. And now, if you want to hear it in Redneck, it, you know, there's a there'll be that in the uh, comment section of the thread. But thanks so much. I hope you have a good day. Be safe. Don't spread your germs. Stay inside the house and memorize Emily Dickinson poems.